Okay, Nate, you are last session here at Legends of Gold, right? Yeah. How's the experience been so far here? It's been a great experience. Um, enjoyed being here. The coaches have been awesome, and campers have been very attentive, and it's been fun. You look at you as a little kid. You and I were talking about it earlier today at the Burnett camps. We used to have you guys running on the road and the orchard. We had you guys all, all, you know, like doing all types of stuff. We were in a little barn. Remember that? Yeah. Well, what's this compared to that? You know, like that was in a little mm-hmm. tiny barn, you know, with one full mat. Now you got three full mats. What's a compare like to that? Yeah, it's funny that you say that. It, it, this place does remind me of uh, Milan a little bit and even LaGrange. Just because you're out kind of in the middle of nowhere training and it's just like you're able to focus in on uh, technique and just guys are passionate here. People, uh, the campers really want to get better and it's just it's just fun. It's just good just to focus on wrestling and just be friends with the guys that you're there with, you know. What's next for you? You know, we talked to the ACL eight weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, you don't look eight weeks out of ACL. Uh, I, I think it's, are you two workouts deep today or three? Two. I think two, two. two workouts deep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. yesterday you were pretty intense too. You know, you did some cardio, you lifted, you did some wrestling. What's it like to, you know, and, you, and you've been off for eight weeks. You know, you told me it's been a little different for you, but what's it like getting back in the swing of things and how are you feeling? Feels great. I think I needed a break uh, mentally and physically and it's just, it's good. It's been like a slingshot, you know, like I've really excited to get back and really motivated to come back and even better than I was when I, when I got hurt. And so I'm excited. I'm excited to get back resting here in the next couple of months and just make a big statement when I come back. What's next on the camp circuit for you? Kyle went to New York. Where are you going next? Yeah, next is actually tomorrow out in Richmond, Indiana for the Iron Sharpens Iron Camp. And I'll, I'll do that. And then I'll be in Columbus the, the rest of the weekend. So Okay, Ohio RTC, you're still with Ohio RTC. Yep. Um, right now, you know, the landscape's pretty different with it. There's a lot of options for RTC. Um, where do you see yourself in the future? Is it going to be a 57 kilo thing for you? Where do you see yourself moving forward in competition and freestyle? Yeah, right now it's 57, but who knows with this with the program that I'm on for strength training, if I get big enough, who knows, I'll be 61 possibly. But right now the, the, the goal is to stay 57. That's the Olympic weight as well, so... I plan on competing in that. Okay, when we look at it, um, you have never been above 143 pounds in your life. Yeah. That blue mark in my mind, we were like, oh my goodness, you've never, and the biggest you've gotten in this stretch is 140, right? I was, I was 43. I was you were 43. 43 in this stretch. Yeah. So yeah. right now you're hitting like 38, 39, 40, right? Yeah. How do you feel when you get like that big? I just feel bloated. That's the thing. Like anytime I get in the mid 140s, beginning of 140s, I just feel bloated and I just, I'd rather work out and get my weight around 140. I don't, I don't have much body fat, so it's like it's tough to even get down to 25 if I'm that heavy. So it's better to be in the, the higher 130s walking around. Right, I feel Nate, better. You've got camp coming up, session. You're about to run it. You got anything else for me? Yeah, uh, just thanks for all that you do. Go Wildcats. It's awesome.